Tensions are running high in the Republican Party right now. Donald Trump not only refusing to endorse Paul Ryan and John McCain in the primary races, but it sure seems like he's actively not endorsing them <laughs> yeah, right there's now. There's a way to not endorse them. There's actively not endorsing them. <laughs> it just sounds better. Trump told the Washington Post in an interview that with Paul Ryan, he's just not, quote unquote, quite there yet. His words, or are those Paul Ryan's words from back in May? I'm just not ready to do that at this point. I'm not there right now. All right, you know who has a keen interest in all of this? The man who's with us right now, Paul Nealon. Paul Ryan's, Paul Nealon, Paul Ryan's opponent in the Wisconsin primary. Uh, Mr. Nealon, thank you so much for joining us right now. Donald Trump, the Republican nominee, refusing to endorse Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. That must have been music to your ears. Well, it's not surprising. I mean, Paul Ryan's more aligned with Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama on on their top three initiatives. I mean, look at look at uh, Obama's top three initiatives, Trans-Pacific Partnership, um, Amnesty, and the jailbreak uh, crime legislation will release 10, 10, more, tens of thousands of people uh, out of prison and make life difficult for, for all of us. So Mr. Paul Ryan's aligned with them. I'm not surprised Donald Trump wouldn't endorse him. How is Paul Ryan more in line with Hillary Clinton than he is with Donald Trump? He's endorsed Donald Trump. He introduced him at the convention. He's called Hillary Clinton a liar. There is no, no one would say that Paul Ryan is in line with Hillary Clinton at all. A lot of people say he's aligned with Hillary Clinton. I mean, look at his donations. Paul Ryan is for this Trans-Pacific Partnership. It sells our jobs overseas. Paul Ryan has got a 20-year career, career politician who is all for open borders. Paul Ryan, we wouldn't even have borders if it was for Paul Ryan. So that's he, that's, he, well, that's that why like, Tim Kaine said. I feel like I've heard make Paul an Ryan argument? Tim yeah. talk a lot about security at the border. I, I'm pretty sure he's never said we should abolish borders. That would be a pretty extraordinary position to take. And if he does say it, Paul Ryan has the first to report it. But, but, uh, but Mr. Nealon. Well, I'll tell you what, you ought to start reporting it now then because Paul Ryan is not for securing the borders. Paul Ryan has you said met Paul Ryan with wouldn't, dreamers. He, wouldn't have borders he is all, all about setting up. Paul Ryan. Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you, Paul Ryan has said America is more than its borders. It's more than this. It's more than that. We have to have a secure border first in order to have a nation. Paul Ryan hasn't funded that wall, that double layer 700 mile wall that we, that we got through Congress in 2006. He has said that he's not for the wall. He said he's going to sue Mr. Trump. I mean, he takes every opportunity Paul Ryan's to take shots sue at our nominee. Trump? Let me pick up, let me pick up what you just said about Yeah, Paul over Ryan's the Muslim statement. immigration Look. issue. He said he would sue Donald Trump. Absolutely, he did. Let me pick up on that because okay. you, you have taken quite an issue with how Paul Ryan treats Donald Trump. You said it is beneath the dignity of the Speaker's office and morally disqualifying how Paul Ryan treats Donald Trump. What specifically do you take issue with? Yeah, he takes every opportunity. I mean, this is identity politics that Paul Ryan's playing. And that's what people hate with government. They hate it about the media. The people are sick and tired of being, let's select a group and use that group as a cudgel to beat the rest of America with. We're sick of it. Look, I'm a businessman from Delavan, Wisconsin. I've run businesses all over the globe. Paul Ryan, Paul Ryan has ducked me on debating this Trans-Pacific Partnership, which he owns. He's the one who whipped the votes for Fast Track Trade Promotion Authority. He's the one who's out there saying this is a free trade deal. This isn't a free trade deal. This is a but, corrupt, but, but crony Neal, trade deal that gives Mr. up Neal. U.S. sovereignty. Yeah. Mr. We, 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 again, the question we were asking before is, is you said that what Paul Ryan has said about Donald Trump is morally disqualifying. What has Paul Ryan said about Donald Trump that's morally disqualifying? He came out on the wrong side of this con thing. Paul Ryan did not need to weigh into that. Paul Ryan could have spent that time debating me instead of taking shots at our party's nominee. Paul Ryan is the top Republican in our party. He should be finding ways to unite this. Here's the circle of trust. Paul Ryan's out here. Nobody can trust Paul Ryan because every opportunity he gets, he shoots at Donald Trump from the side, from the back. He is no different than Hillary Clinton. That's the fact. 
How much contact have you had with Donald Trump's campaign? None, other than he tweeted at me the other day, and I thanked him for it. I mean, have you? Do you I'm want running his my own race here. Have I'm pounding thousands of. I haven't asked. I haven't asked for his endorsement at all. No. Have I mean, you asked him to come? If he gave me his you? endorsement. I'd be flattered by it. I'd be humbled by it if he gave me his endorsement. But the last thing I'd want is for him to screw up the presidential race. Look, I am absolutely in lockstep. Wait, are you saying he would be screwing up the Trump. presidential race by endorsing you? What do you no, mean? No, I have no idea. I have no idea. Why are we even talking about this? Why are you asking me about that? And why aren't you asking Paul Ryan on We're asking air you questions why about he your supports Trans-Pacific Partnership? We're asking you well, questions I'm about telling your you, campaign. Absolutely, and the question, and the and my campaign is on good trade deals and securing our border. Paul Ryan wants to pass a terrible trade deal, and he wants open borders. He wants amnesty. Paul Ryan is not for closing our borders. If he was, he would have talked to those angel moms that called him, that wrote him, that tried to get a hold of him in D.C., and went to his house because they looked to me as an advocate. They said, we can't get a hold of Paul Ryan. He won't listen to us. They wanted to give him a letter. And, you know, in that letter it said, Mr. Ryan, if you cared as much about our families as you care about your special interest donors, our children might still be alive. And you know, Paul Ryan came out of his house, hopped into an SUV and was whisked away to a fundraiser. I mean, you ought to be asking Paul Ryan that. I mean, I'm we, running a race and knocking thousands of doors here in Wisconsin on behalf of Wisconsin voters, on behalf of Wisconsin jobs, on behalf of America's jobs. A vote for Paul Ryan is a vote for Trans-Pacific Partnership. We, uh, we, vote you for know Paul what? Ryan we, is a vote for have, amnesty. We, we'd love to have Paul Ryan on the show. We have a whole bunch of questions to ask the Speaker of the House yeah. if and when he comes on at this hour. Uh, Mr. Nealon, do you feel like Donald Trump is using you to get back at Donald Trump? Do you feel like you're a pawn in, in, in a battle between Donald Trump, especially if he won't endorse you? I mean, he, he went out of his way to tweet you, uh, as you just said. Do you think he's using you? No, I mean, when somebody holds the door open for you and they and they and and you say thank you, is that using somebody? That's absurd. That's an absurd assertion on its face. I mean, I wrote something that was well researched and put it out there, and Mr. Trump thanked me for that, and I thanked him for thanking me. I said no problem. And so, how, how does that turn into if, if somebody sneezes and I say God bless you? It, was somebody used in that transaction? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand how, how, does this, how does this wedge driving help? It doesn't help. I mean, Donald Trump's trying to get elected. I'm trying to get elected. I'm working on behalf of American jobs. Donald Trump's working on behalf of American jobs. He is right now taking on special interests. The same people that I might add are funding Paul Ryan's campaign. Paul Ryan put zero dollars in his own campaign the last time I looked and he's got $10 million in his campaign coffers. I put $100,000 of my own money. I started out in a factory at 18 years old. Mm. Took me 12 years to get my engineering degree at night. I've run factories all over the United States and mm -hmm. all over the globe. And Paul Ryan, and I've, I just raised a million dollars. You know, I put 10% of my own money in. Let's see Paul Ryan put a million of his own dollars of that 10 million in. He won't do it. He won't have to because Paul Ryan Paul Ryan's bought and paid for. We don't pay him enough in Wisconsin's first district to vote on our behalf. He's well, voting on Wisconsin behalf of his voters, special interest donors. The voters of Wisconsin's first district will have their say on Tuesday. Paul Nealon, thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.